We're going back in time, before civilization. It is perhaps 56 to 62,000 years ago. It is in a place which will one day be called New Mexico. It took millions of years for the surrounding landscape to form. Relentless erosion carved and shaped the surrounding mesas and high plains. Some of the powerful forces that model our Earth are imperceptibly slow. Others are sudden and dramatic. This tranquil scene is about to be shattered. For weeks to months, the ground has been trembling. Beneath the ground, molten rock is moving toward the Earth's surface, breaking through fractures in the rock. Accompanying subterranean noises and gas emissions also warn of what is to come. The shocks are sharper, more rapid now. Over there, a volcano is born. Under tremendous pressure, clouds of ash and gas are sent up to a thousand feet in the air. Ash, cinders, and red-hot liquid bits of lava are hurled upward, cool during their flight, and rain down around the vent to form a cone-shaped mountain. Today, rising above the plains of northeastern New Mexico stands Capulin Volcano, one of the most perfect of the large cinder cone volcanoes in the United States. Experiencing the quiet beauty of Capulin Volcano makes its violent birth difficult to visualize. The eruption was a series of explosive bursts, each one adding a new layer of cinders and ash. Lava and cinders from more than 100 volcanic vents covers much of northeastern New Mexico. Every peak you see rising around Capulin Volcano was once an active volcano. What remains today is the evidence of three separate periods of volcanic activity. Starting about nine million years ago, the Raton lava flows formed. Nature's never-ending erosion has left remnants of these flows as the mesas, high plains, and cliffs that you see to the northwest. Around two and a half million years ago, the Clayton volcanoes were active. As time passed, these formations too were sculptured and worn down by water and wind. The remnants of this era are seen in Sierra Grande, Jose Butte, and Robinson Peak. Each of these periods of violent eruptions and lava flows was followed by quiet intervals where the land was reshaped by rivers and other erosive forces. The most recent phase of activity, the Capulin phase, began less than two million years ago. Capulin volcano is a young volcano, representing part of the latest stage of activity in this volcanic field activity which most recently occurred about 30,000 years ago. The limited erosion of Capulin's steep slopes show how recently the volcano was formed. The Earth's interior is extremely hot. Pockets of molten rock called magma may form tens of miles beneath the Earth's surface. Due to pressure and density differences, the magma is forced upward through the crust. Near the surface, the explosive force of rapidly expanding gases within the magma propels the eruption. The bubbling gases force the magma through a vent of the Earth's surface and explode out in clouds of gas containing fragments of volcanic material. Globs of liquid rock cinders and ash are forced high into the air from the vent and fall back to form a cone. 
Later in the eruption of Capulin, lava forced its way out through a fissure near the base. This preserved the symmetry of the volcano. Just north of Capulin, lava covered the landscape, sometimes flowing up against older volcanoes, such as Mud Hill. The lava flows from Capulin Volcano cover more than 15 square miles. They are still visible today. To the south, lava flowed almost to the site of the present village of Capulin. To the north, lava spread into the dry Cimarron River, close to the present village of Folsom. As the molten rock moved along, its surface cooled and hardened, but the red glowing lava beneath continued to push on. This created pressure ridges south of the crater, leaving the land with a ripple-like surface. Squeeze-ups developed as the cooling surface cracked and pasty lava broke through, forming blocky mounds. In Mexico in 1943, a farmer saw a column of smoke rise as he worked his field. As fissures broke the land open, he witnessed the birth of Paracutin Volcano, an almost exact duplicate of Capulin Volcano. A huge cloud of ash and gas threw fragments of rock high into the air. Mountains and valleys may take millions of years to form and change the face of the Earth, but volcanoes are nature's maverick mountains. Some form in only a few years, months, or even days. Within a year, Paracutin was over a thousand feet high. Lava broke out near its base. Depending on temperature, chemical composition, and gradient, lava can flow freely or hardly seem to move. As lava cools, its movement slows and solid chunks break off. Its force is devastating. In the nine years that Paracutin erupted, it forever changed the lives of the people living nearby. Paracutin was named for the town that it destroyed. When the eruption of Capulin ended, a dark, barren cinder cone stood out against the landscape. In northeastern New Mexico, many extinct cinder cones remain nearly treeless. For some as yet unexplained reason, Capulin Volcano has developed a forested habitat. Life established itself quickly on the new mountain. First, lichens attached themselves to the lava rock and began to form soil. Seed carried by birds and prevailing winds lodged in the niches in Capulin's rugged surface. Tenacious shrubs and grasses also took root and grew. Today, Capulin Volcano is rich with life. Splashes of colorful wildflowers, pinion pines, some over 400 years old, sway in the breeze. Lizards and chipmunks scurry among the rock. And mule deer thrive on the brush-covered slopes. Roots of trees and smaller plants help hold this mountain of cinders and ash together, slowing erosion. This striking mountain and living ecosystem are the products of a volcanic eruption followed by colonization by plant and animal life. Capulin Volcano was born in violence and it endures in quiet beauty.